How you doing today? Well, the old Chevy Silverado here last night. Well, for a while now, the stereo's been acting up. I keep going in protection on the one amp, and last night I broke the RCAs in the amp for the subwoofer. So we're gonna have to put a new RCA in, which kind of sucks because I really don't feel like doing this. But we have to. I gotta kind of get all this shit out of here, which is gross, and get the seat out. And we'll go from there. There's the RCAs over there all cocked over. Yeah, I know. I haven't been treating the old Silverado like I used to. And I gotta stop doing that. So let's get this thing cleaned up and go from there. Next, we're gonna need a socket to remove the seat. Hey, look at that, I guessed in the first shot. Can you see me? Probably fucking not. Look at here, would you? How you friggin' doing? So let's get the seat out of here. We'll get rid of the seat belt too, so it's not my way. Oh, careful, that's tighten. One, two. Couldn't tell you how many there is, to be honest with you. A couple, there's none there. Get this out of the way. Decent. Oh fuck, we got shit everywhere in here, Jim. This out of the way. We got a, quite a few bolts in here, we do. What, 150? Do you believe me? I wouldn't. Ground bolt coming off. Careful. There we go. Should disconnect the power wire, maybe. What are you thinking? I'm thinking, fuck it. Oh, that's on there, Jim. What happened? Oh, there's one. Oh, that's for something else. We're good. That's off. Next. Hey, next. One way up in here. Let's get this one first. And then we'll get this one. Fuck, is the battery fucking dead? No. What happened? I don't know what happened there, boys. Girls, peoples. She said, no. No. Oh, boy. Why would they put one where you need a shorty? I don't even think you can get a shorty in there, to be honest with you. Besides, we got 18. I almost need a semi-short. Pretty sure I do need a semi-short. Oh, it's just gonna catch it. You ready for this? I'm not. We're getting ready to did. Okay, so now that we got 25 fucking screws out, we should be pretty close. So one up here? Nope. This thing should maybe come out. We'll get rid of this. And then we'll give her the old lift to Oh, She's in there, Jim. No, she's just heavy. Maybe. What the fuck? Holy. This seat ain't easy to get out. Holy. Should be a two-piece for a guy like me. Careful! Holy dicks! Hold on, I gotta pull the truck forward so I get enough room. Careful! Alright, now that the pawn's out of the way, we should be able to wreck the inverter over there. Look at this fucking mess back here. What happened? Holy. What have I got myself into today? I don't know, but I'll tell you right now, that seat's fucking heavy. I might just leave it right there. It's gonna be right my way to win it. Can't this thing separate? What a pain in the asshole. Actually, it looks like it can separate. Nope, maybe not. Oh, maybe it can. Sure it can, let me take those two bolts out. Come on, Nick. Choo-choo. I'm gonna say 10 mil. I'm gonna say I'm right. So there you go, if you have a Savvy Silverado and the seats are too heavy, just take out this thing. Oh yeah, we did. That's better. 
That should make a big difference. Friggin' right it should. Come here, seat. You're coming with me. Careful. Gentle. Caught on everything. Here it goes. Something's happening. Oh. Careful. Easy. There we go. Seats are out. Amps are a mess. Big time. Yup, that RC is dicked. Sure is. Oh, I still got pieces of it in the amp. That's not good, Jim. Careful. So we gotta get this off. Gotta get this off. Get this off. Oh, I didn't want to take that off. It's all one piece? Come on. Whatever. It's all good. Sure be nice to be able to put this seat behind the goddamn seat. I know where to put it back here. They sure don't design these for aftermarket amplifiers, eh? Especially the little ones like this one. And we gotta figure out what's going on with this amp. One of the channels keep blowing out. I don't know which one. So we should hook the ground back up so we can test that too. Let's do that. Can it reach? Probably not. Well, Deep socket. Hot back here. You want tighten, not loosen. Oh, we got our ground back, 13.2 volts. Use it. Let's get the stereo on, and we'll figure out which channel is fucked. How do you like my speaker wires, by the way? They're pretty decent, eh? Friggin' right they are. Nothing like a good extension cord use. First thing I guess I should do is pull. What has happened is, if you look in the amplifier here, I lost the tips in there for the RCAs. Because yesterday I was yanking on them, and they, yeah, they stayed in. So we gotta try to get them out, which sometimes can be a little bit of a chore, if you know what I'm saying. There's one, see? Lost my tip, Captain. Never good when you lose your tip. Oh, this one's going in. This one's way in there, that's not good. How am I gonna get that out? I gotta pull the M part to get that one out. God darn it. This is gonna blow it out with air. We can try that. Hey, while I have this arrow, remind me to fill up my tire. Did it move? Not even a little. Did it move? Not even a little. All right, so I got the thing out. What I end up having to do is pull this off, pull these bolts off, slide it out, and blow it out with the air because I couldn't poke anything in there to melt it or nothing like that, so. But all that matters is we got her out. So that amp is okay. So this amp here, we cranked it up to see what speakers shut off, because I can't crank it up with you guys because of copyright. And it seems to not be clipping. So what I'm thinking is the short of the RC in this amplifier was caused this amplifier to shut off. It's the only thing I can figure. Leave your comments down below. I'll give you a quick grip just to show you. Oh, just so you know, these tips too, some guys seem to think that you heat up a, uh, a needle and you stick it in and melt where the RCA was and then you can pull it out. This one here wasn't working that way because it was all metal. So if you're not sure, you can try that way first too. It sure wouldn't hurt nothing. All right, so if we connect back up to this bad boy, still got to pull the whole deck out and everything to change the RCA, that sucks. We connect it to a grow pro for some reason. Come on, connect to the head unit first, would you? Unreal. Don't you love Bluetooth crap? Unable to connect. Well, no fucking doubt in my mind. What else is new? Connect to the GoPro again. Forget this device, yes. Wow. Are you fucking for real right now? <laughs> I'm gonna lose my shit, Jim. Oh, now you don't even wanna turn on. Well, that's nice of you. Oh, come on! Now the head unit ain't even turning on on the deck. No, the Pioneer isn't even turning on. What in the fuck is your fucking deal? <sighs> My reset procedure wasn't very good, Jim. Guess it didn't like me. Plug in direct. Yeah, you fucking right, you're plugged in direct. Stick that up your ass. Son of a bitch. There you go, see? Anyways, there you go. Just wanted to show you that, that it cranks now. So now what we gotta do is we gotta run a new RCA. Love to figure out a spot to put this stuff instead of where it was, but it's not gonna happen. 
unless, see this amp won't fit between the seat unless it's over there. This amp will fit here. This thing here is a piece of shit, just so you know. Everybody's wondering. So I could put this amp here if I knock that off. And that's what I'm gonna have to do, I think, because it's getting too wedged under the seat before. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. There we go. Oops. Sorry about that. Okay. Look at that. We did it. It's a Catalina wine mixer. Now we gotta do the same with the ground. We gotta pull it back through. Good. That back down like that. Okay. Should try to spin this amp around if we can. This way. Gives me some extra wire. There we go. These wires all have to go up in here so it misses a seat. Okay. Ooh, eh? This gotta go up here actually. So it misses a seat. So we'll try to get that up there somehow. Get these over to here somehow. Okay. Get this up here somehow. That's there. Knock that off. There we go. There we go. Gone. That was for the jack, if anybody's wondering. That's why we don't need that. So now this amp should be able to go here. Just jerk in. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Alrighty. The problem is I had all these amps wedged up in here and they weren't fitting very well. So now with them here, I should be okay. Because the sub box sits about here. The power and ground back on. We better tape this power up because I can see what's gonna happen right now. Always tape up your power wires until you're ready for them. Oh, we need the RCAs. Oh, is that gonna reach? We might have to extend that one. Which ain't bad if you only have to extend one, eh? Perfect, okay. Good, yes, yes. Excellent, okay, mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, ground. We'll do ground first. I'm gonna do the ground a little differently this time. I'm gonna do a butcher job, what they call it. You just cut your wire like this. You open her up, take that off, like that. You open her up in the middle, like that. You take this ground and you make it bigger. I had all this wedged into the amplifier and it was not good. Don't look at this stereo anyways, this is just a butcher job. This stereo is never designed to look good, just a function. Turn that off, stick that through the hole, like so. We'll give her the big one too. Buckle my shoe twist, like that. And then we'll send the heat to it. See if we can't get a solder into her, which I doubt it's gonna happen because look at it. But we'll try. I'm willing to try anything once. I want to suck her in. Oh, this solder is fucking garbage. I got the wrong solder. This is from China. Tell already by looking at it. Okay, let's try this again. Look at the difference. Stuff soaks right in. There we go. So what I've come to determine is this shit is garbage. This shit is good. Do you understand? So now what we'll do is we'll tape all this up. Well, it's nice and hot. That way it melts the tape right into her. Creates a extra spicy friggin' seal. This is how not to wire a vehicle, just so you know. Like I said, this is just an everyday driver and I don't really care, I just want tunes. So, as long as it's safe, we're good, and that's safe. So that's ground, we'll hook that back up for G. Ground. Hopefully we can stick our way in there deep. You know what, that water is fucking just cocked right over. Make a new end for that too. Let's do that. Okay, now we need some more solder. So if you're wondering why I'm soldering this, if you don't have the right connections for your amplifier, if you solder that, it keeps it hard. So when you screw it down, it doesn't just crush the wire, all the shit, and then you get a bad connection. So you throw some solder into her, it makes it nice and tight. Look how much better that solder works, eh? There we go. So now when you put it in the amplifier, it'll be hard, and you'll get a good screw bite on her. So you stick her in and tighten her down. Oh, fuck yeah. I can feel the pressure already. See, that's never gonna come out. So now we repeat the process with the power wire.
for tunes. Oh, that's so much better than the old other way. I had wires sticking out everywhere there. Okay, so that's done. So now that's done, we can put this wire back on. Good and good. Bah, careful. Bah, easy. Bah, gentle. Give that a little twist together. Solder, tape was hot. There it is, feed her through. Cut her about there, stick her in the hole and tighten her up. There we go, now we're gonna give it another test. We're gonna turn all the power wheels on again. Actually, it's on now, because I just hit the remote. So everything's on. So let's give it another crank up here and see if she's still not gonna pop out. Will you follow me in the night? Big Snoop, no, no, one more turn it up. What's really going on? I'm gonna bust that one off too, because it's right in my way as well. There. So now we can tape all that together. RCA, Jim. This can go this way. That can go that way. That's gonna have to come off. Put that up there. Okay, good, yep, mm-hmm. Sounds good. RCA. We need more fucking remote line for this thing now. Oh, fuck, we need a whole bunch of shit now all of a sudden. Oh, God. Ooh. Ooh, we might have enough. Ooh, yeah. Check that out, Jim. Okay, we're about 50% done here. We just got to uh, plug you in because you're gonna go dead, Yar. Frank, what happened? Where's my cord for you? I gotta get you a cord. You're gonna go dead. But we're gonna pull this head unit out, change this RCA. I got it ramped up front. We're just gonna plug it in here, make sure everything works. So until then, I'm gonna shut you off and go change the battery. Okay, I'm back. I never did put the camera back on because I'll tell you what, this job, was a pain in my ass, big time. Everything that went wrong could have went wrong. I kicked the, I knocked the speaker box over, so I damaged the sub. Now I'm down to 110 instead of two. So we're gonna have to get one of them. This amp won't fit under the seat when the seat's going down, so now it's sticking out there. So I don't know what to tell you there. Can't do anything with it really for now. So that's stuck there. The reason why my amp was cutting off was because the fuse under the hood was bad. So my secondary battery wasn't getting charged, which caused low voltage drain. Changed the RCA, which was a pain. Got the RCA changed. And then the old one, I cut the wrong one. So I cut one of the good RCAs. So I had to run two RCAs. Oh, I should have recorded this because this was a worst, this was a worst repair video of a decade. Like I said, I just got so frustrated with it, but I got it fixed. Everything's running. It doesn't cut out. I just need to buy another sub. If I'm even worried about it, it still sounds pretty good at 110, so I, I don't even know if I'm freaking worried about it right now. To be honest with you. If you leave your comments down below, what would you think do? Because that's what I do. And until the next one, that's what I do.